Hello and welcome to Assets Tech Tips. Dan here and today I'm going to show you how to share folders over a Windows 7 based machine on a local area network. Um, I got a question from a chap called Satish asking me how to do this for his business which I strongly do not recommend because I think if you've got a business you really should have some kind of a centralized point where you're sharing your documents. So the best way to do that for all of you who are watching who have small businesses and firms is to get something central and if you're on a budget my recommendation to you is to pick up a Synology server or a Synology network attached storage. Send me an email and I'll tell you more about it. But uh, for all you who are on home networks and, and just basic simple local area networks um, this is how you do it. So first off you need to have a Windows machine that is on a professional or higher edition. For those of you who are using home, the process is slightly different and I'll explain it. So step number one is to create a folder where you're going to put all of your content that you want to share. So let's go to the root directory. Let's create a folder. I'm going to call it source. Then we want to create users. So you want to click on start and then right click on computer. Oops. And then choose manage local users. Come on. And that's for all you professional users and higher. For the people who are on home editions, you're going to have to create users a different way. You go to start, control panel, and then in control, control panel you'll have user accounts. And you just create the user accounts and user accounts following the instructions. So you need to create a user account for each person who is going to be accessing this content that you wish to share. So for this I'm just going to create two users. And now we've got three users, me, user one and user two. Close this down to save your work. Go to source. And now let's turn this folder into a share by going to properties, sharing, advanced, check this box, change the name to something sensible. I'm going to call it tdocs or test documents. And then I'm going to start adding users. So remove everyone because unless of course you want everyone to be able to access this content, which I wouldn't advise. Um, remove it, then click on add and add your users. So user one. Yeah. User two. Yep. And user three. Me. Set their permissions. So one, read, two, change, three, full. Apply and double check. Click on OK, click on Apply, OK, Apply and close. And now do a quick test. So the share name, as you just created, is, oh, my bad, sorry, here it is here. TDOCs on the system Win7 Pro. Now, this piece here, this is the name of the computer. You need to, well, you don't need to, but you should name your computer appropriately. If your computer name is not already set with something easy to use or something identifiable, if it's like a great big long string of keys and numbers and stuff, then you should change it. And to change it, you click on start, right click on computer, go to properties, click on advanced, computer name, ignore the description, click on change and type in here the name of your computer. Once you put your computer name in here, click on OK, apply.
apply, OK, and then it'll ask you to restart your system. And once your system has been restarted, you're ready to continue on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick check to make sure that this is working. So let me just copy down this here. This is the UMC main. Let me open up a run box, which hold down the Windows key and tap the letter R. Type in the UMC path. Click on OK. Cool. So we've got our, our share and our share is working. Now we need to put stuff in it. So let us go back to the root directory. Um, I've got just some random text documents here. So let me, oops, I closed it down, sorry. So stop to share, and I want to cut that, go back, source, paste. So now we've got stuff in there. And when I close it down, and I go back to the UMC path that I just entered in, everything should be there. So now, this machine here is hosting. It is hosting the share called tdocs. And in tdocs, we've got the stuff that we want to share with people. These here are being controlled by the user permissions that we set. So let's go to another computer now and check it out. So I'm going to close down my Windows 7 machine. And I'm going to open up a Windows 8 machine. And in here, I'm going to enter in there we go, our UMC path, and go OK. Now it'll take a minute or two, and now we're being asked to enter in uh, credentials. And the credentials will be the usernames of the user profiles that we set up. So just to make this a little clearer for you all, I need to enter in the user credentials for one of these guys on this machine. These guys are user profiles. These are the user profiles that we set up. We didn't set them up just for that share. I can log out and log it back in again using one of those. So let's just make a quick test. I open up another remote desktop connection. Here we are. I click on connect. I'm going to use another account. I'm going to use the user one. Cool. So user one works. And that's going to be the same thing. So that means that user one can log in. User 2 can log into the system, test, which is already logged in. And it also applies to our share because we added those users to the share. So now I'm going to use user 2, password, and we have access to the share. Close. And then I'm going to try it on my machine, this one here, Windows 8.1, another Windows 8.1 system. So let us open up our run box. And there we go. So, and that's basically it, guys. So, um, yeah. You may run into issues where it says you've got too many connections open up.
something like that if that happens to you you get a pop-up box going um error you don't have any access there are too many connections what you need to do is you need to familiarize yourself with net use so open up your unbox get a command prompt going type in net use and here you'll see what's going on you see i've got one open already now if you're in a business you're going to run into this problem a lot because you're only allowed to have 20 connections you need to have a server or like i said you need to pick up a synology disk station set it up as a file server send me an email i'll help you configure it and whatnot um but if you don't you're going to get to a 20 connection limitation and it's going to pop up loads of error messages and once one person gets it everybody's going to get it and the trick to fixing that error is to kill all connections so what you do is you type in net use you type in the server name which is shown up there win 7 pro t docs forward slash d or delete net use to check all the connections are now gone and that should solve your problem Okay, folks, so basically now that's it. You know how to share documents on your network. If you've got any questions, as always, send me an email. Here's my email address. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much for watching and have a good evening. Bye-bye.